In this video, I will explain the logical fallacy called the no true Scotsman fallacy. I'll begin with the general form, explain why it is a mistake, and use some examples of people making this sort of mistake. Hopefully by the end of the video, you will be able to spot and deal with this fallacy. And if not, well, no genuine viewer would watch this video and not like it or subscribe to the channel. So hit the like button and the subscribe button. The no true Scotsman fallacy is a type of redefinition fallacy. To be clear, this fallacy applies to all people, not just Scottish men. In fact, it applies to all things. So how does it work? Consider the following. All objects of type X have property A. This X does not have A. Another person has pointed out evidence that contradicts the previous statement. The first person then responds with, all genuine X have the property A. This last statement is the fallacy. They have modified X with the adjective genuine to counter the previous statement. Other similar adjectives could also be used. True, fake, real, for example. But why is this a problem? Well, it has to do with definitions. What does it mean to be genuine? And what is the difference between X and a genuine X? And of course, if we accept the idea of a genuine X, then we also accept the idea of a non-genuine X. And this is a problem. We risk alienating things that fall outside of their subjective definition of genuine. I should say that it is good to change or improve your argument. If a valid counter argument is made, then you can drop your initial argument or improve it to satisfy the counter argument. The problem with using this fallacy is that it makes the argument less useful. In the end, it only tells us about this one person's subjective view on what they think makes X genuine. It tells us nothing about X in general. At this point, I would normally present some of my own examples and explain them in depth. But let's be honest, a genuine viewer who has got this far doesn't need me to provide examples. They will have their own examples. So use the comment section to share your own examples. If you need inspiration, consider the following. True patriot, genuine politician, true believer, real men. When you see someone use this fallacy, don't mix their opinion or definition of a thing with every instance of a thing. Consider those things who fall outside of their definition and certainly don't form a conclusion about things in general from this fallacy, as you would be doing so based on the subjective opinion of one person. As always, politely point out the fallacy, develop better arguments and have more productive discussions. I hope you now have a better understanding of this fallacy.